So, keep on by my current so one of my men are living so the mother king of Kabo. Men of my baby, can I wait on my two picket to my sister? I then you have a nosy chicken, a liquid to my general. Chuku Yagosi, who don't talk only with it. Well, I got a new two lawe, can you the chapel with Rana Francis? In Doma? No, yes. Big Mama. Lady B, the weather. And then Bridget, oh, do do. On your mother, no, my God, no. Lenin, no, no, Oh, 
Maggie can use me. Nemo, 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 Mama. A formula more, a chalugo, Mama. Nemo, 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 Mama. Precious gift, I love you, Mama. Chuku Gozielo, Nemo, eh. Holy Sabiko Gozielo, Mama. If I they worry, worry, she no they sleep. Every day, Mama pray for me. Iye de makanga mereki, Mama eh. Anything for you, yeah. Iye de makanga mereki, Mama eh. Mama you too much, yeah. So mo hore aside hun je yin biale video so ki mo me ka go ma kasin ne wala le to ne ngon ka go ne ye me ni me le we ka ke me so we ka so mobile so chuku mani ha no zi me chuku mani ha mo ne mo ye ha no zi me ni we travel ko was where Jack came, and I can't answer. I was a can't answer. So to put my hand, many. You can't believe for me to cook a bless where to cook a river. I really have some in Jesus' name. Amen. Those I make us a long time. I found one one of those other. Kill him, even. I'm a young one. Let me say, I mean, I do. So far in the Cagonia theater, my dear. Ah, Macan is a good one. I go. I won't enjoy it. Hey, I become a cancan. Ah, which I know, I don't more like all that. I will be more like a new work of the match work and you have to talk. I'm going to get I don't know where they came back. Where do I look at the West Swamp? Because the people who learn you can't even be where they were swamp. Where were they in the same band? Where were they? 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 Where were they?
Mais monsieur. Quand Quand et Ah. Did you go
of assemblies of God. Can I hear hallelujah? Uh -huh. All Christians that are here, whether you are a Christian, whether you are a pagan, whether you are a free thinker, all of you, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, dear way, all of them. Oh, do, uh, do way and uh, dear way, all of you, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. All oh, the chief, I recognize your presence in this place. Amen. We want to do the opening prayer. Um, may I have the honor to invite uh, Reverend Bensi for the opening prayer, sir. Opening prayer, sir. Shall we pray? Wherever you are, remove your cap from your head and close your eyes. The ancients of days, the lion of the tribe of Judah, he that created not to be created, whose eye run to and flow, the one that seated on the throne, we give you glory. A life keeping God, we recognize you. Thank you for what you have done today. Thank you for the gathering of today. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. Oh God, we commit today before you. We dedicate the service and the assignment of today unto your able hands. The host of heaven, may you take over in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, let your angel be present in this place. Oh Lord, we take authority over the power of darkness, over the forces of darkness. We silence them in the name of Jesus. Lord, may you glorify. Let your power move. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, wonderful Father, in Jesus' name. Hey, Mosa. Shall we put our hands together for Reverend Ben? of Assemblies of God Church, Omolua branch. Amen. Now, I want to invite...
taking Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 11. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven, a time, a time to be born, and a time to die, and a time to plant, and a time to pluck what is planted, and a time to keep, and a time to heal, and a time to break down, and a time to build up, and a time to weep, and a time to laugh, and a time to mourn, and a time to dance, and a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones, and a time to embrace, and a time to refrain, and a time for embracing, and a time for gain, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to fear, and a, a time to tear, and a time to sow, and a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, and a time to love, and a time to hate, and a time for a war, and a time for a peace. Thank the Lord. Shall we put our hands together for joy, Ekuku? Him. Wherever you are, I want to stand up. Turn your book, your booklet to page two. Is it? Take him one. The rock, the solid rock. For the words are true, and 
faithful. Verse 6, and he said unto me, it is done. I am offered and I shall inherit all things and I will be his God and, and he shall be my son. Verse 8 to the last verse. But, but the faithful and unbelief and the abominable and murderer and unmongers and scudders and adorators and all liars shall be in their parts in the lake which burneth with, with fire and breaststone, which is the second death. This is the dot reading. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to call the angelic voices again. The last hymn, which is in theory, when the rule is called up yonder Welcome close to thee give us another mic of that hallelujah there Stand up to your feet as we take this one we are giving the last respect to our mother i told somebody yesterday the living cannot senior the dead you understand who, who, We put hands together for Jesus. One will be going on, and we want uh, the person that will be taking the biography, Sister Stella, she will prepare. Sister Stella, tell us oh, this woman, a big woman that do big things. I hear him now. There are some people that are big for nothing. Well, there are some people. They are not big, but they are they, they be small more uh, small more to big edgy. Huh? Small more to big edgy. Chukuma, I don't feel asked of you before. Are you ready now? This woman is a big woman that do big things. Although, you know, nobody, nobody holy pass. Now me, they always talk and say nobody for this life when they holy pass anybody. Because nobody really now let God know who they serve him. This woman I know her in that church, Assemblies of God Church in this home. One thing when I tell like this woman, we say, if everybody they say do something in the church, she may not be the first to do that thing. But if she wants to do one, she go carry first. She go carry first. If they say do this one, she may she, she don't comp she will not complain. She may not be the one that will go forward. But she is doing it. She go make sure say she really do one. Not be say make them say they not do one. Now so this woman they do one. And this woman was somebody who was always there, day and night for pastor. Any time she visit pastor house, she must make sure say she did not visit with empty handed. And any time pastor visit her house. She must make sure, say, pastor, not go with empty hand. This is one of the people that make this church known in this land of Omoloa. As she is in heaven, if God did not remember anything about her, God will remember her faithfulness to pastor's kitchen. Are you hearing me now? Oh, I mean, you said it, when we go enter this, when pastor go enter this woman's house, this pastor will make pastor, will make pastor laugh. And any time this woman dead church, everybody in the church will be happy that this woman is around. And he, her presence will be fair. So the fire will go do that thing. Well, they sit down for there. So will the fire go do that thing for his church. They sit down, they go, they look. No, they complain. They did here. And no, no, this one is not going on. Why this church be like this? And why this one be like this? You not take here, you will not do it. But this woman was not like that. If you not take church, you not take church. If you go church, you go make sure say, he do one to her satisfaction. He do one to her satisfaction. 
this woman, to the best of her ability, she was faithful to God. She was faithful to God. In all ramifications, she was faithful to God. And when I did do this talk, this was just now. I tell you, say nobody holy past. What is what I tell you? Nobody holy past. But to her own ability, she was faithful to God. She was always telling Ibuchi, go to talk. Buti, follow me, go talk. She was always dragging this boy to talk. She was always taking the lap to talk. This is what I know about this woman. Her children outside anyhow. You will not see her children moving anyhow outside. The way you see, uh, all, of, all of you are in Omura here, you can testify what I'm saying. You can testify what I'm saying. You will not see her children. Now, so you can't see the guy in hang for Joshua for dear. Now, so you can't see the other one in day darkness. This woman disciplined her children to the core. My friend, I will, I, if I say, let me begin to talk about this woman today, we will be here till tomorrow. This woman was good. Personally, to me, to the church, and to the community. This woman, not the follow person, they find trouble. You know, the quarrel. You know, the follow person, they fight. Now, you know, now they do. If I'm lying, you will tell me, Pastor, I'm lying. I'm here in fact for market. Have you ever seen this woman? He will never fight anybody. You will not see this person. This woman raise up well. He's fighting. He never disgraced us one day. He never disgraced us one day. He paid me that today. She's going away. I know where she are today is better than where you are today. She's here. We need Jesus. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? I want to therefore invite Sister Stella for the biography of her mother. Sister Stella, are you there? I don't tell her, I may consider just now. We don't go kitchen. Mama, you are there. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Biography of late Mrs. Philomena, Romina Ahedo, Osanyede. Ne Amuyo. Late Mrs. Philomena Ahedo, aka Romina, was born 3rd October 1963, age 58 years. Into the family of Amuyo of Omola Quarters. A back in Orion, local government area of Edo State. She attended BDC primary school in Idumoti quarters in Bakke. There she acquired a primary school living certificate. During her primary school, she was staying with a nurse, which her father took her out as a household. After her primary education, she moved to her father's house at Omola Quarters in Bakke. Mrs. Philomena Ahedo started going to farm and never furthered her education again. There she met her husband and got married to Mr. Philip Ahedo, who was also a farmer in Omola Quarters in Bakke. After her marriage, Mrs. Philomena Ahedo engage herself in a business such as buying and selling of melon, dairy business, selling of fish, even making of large farms. Late Mrs. Philomena Ahedo is said to be a dedicated Christian in Assemblies of God Church, Omola, Waters, in Bakke. Mrs. Philomena Ahedo, who could be fondly Remembered for her words of for her words of encouragement and generosity. May her gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. With a deep sense of loss, we have just realized that you have gone to rest in the Lord. You came to this great part of honest and integrity, never complaining, even through difficult times challenges and trials. Indeed, a good mother has departed. Sleep on in the hands of the Lord, where there is no more affliction, till we met no more. 
Hallelujah. Now I want to invite this angelic voice. Come and give us a danceable chorus. And uh, this is a service. Let's give an offering. At least, let's give an offering to God. Anytime you hold service, you give offering to God. At least to thank God for making you to experience today, to still be alive today. Let's give an offering. Give us offering basin. Offering, whatever. Offering, boss. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you this afternoon because there is no one like you. We appreciate you because your word is a and amen. We thank you for your grace upon us. We thank you for those that have given. Replenish that post. And those that have not to give, provide for them. That in consequent time, they shall give to the glory of your name. Lord, as we are about to hear your word, we ask that you, Lord, speak to all that language we shall understand. That at the end, we shall have reasons to glorify your name. So I commit this environment into your hand. I commit this program into your hand. I ask that your presence will come and take preeminent. Every place of the enemy will silence it. Thank you, Baba, because you are a good God. Receive glory this afternoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah! I like it, Michael, people. I like it, Michael. Thank God, say, thank God, say, I marry a woman. If not, maybe I will go for sure and look for another one for it, Michael. <laughs> Hallelujah! That man that just pray is uh, the K, the general secretary of Assemblies of God Church. Agbo one. Can we clap hand for him? Hallelujah! The K, you see, boy, you are welcome in Jesus' name. These are the people that are that are praying for the welfare of this big bank. That man is from Idumodi. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. So it's supposed to be um, choir ministration, but let me just help the choir. When we all get to heaven on the day of rejoicing that we need, when we are see. Jesus, we we shall answer in victory when we all get to heaven on the day of rejoicing that we need. When we shall see Jesus, we will see and shout victory. Amen, somebody. I say amen, somebody. Amen. amen. The person that will be giving us a, a very short exhortation this afternoon is the very sessional leader. The man that is overseeing all the assemblies of God under this e-bank session. 
The man that is overseeing all the assemblies of God in this session, the Bishop of the uh, Igman session, is our Reverend, Reverend Father Ephion. Shall we put hands together for our Reverend Father? Are you clapping for him? Or oh, you are clapping for yourself? You are welcome, sir. Please, we don't have Reverend Father in Assemblies of God Church. So please, uh, it's just an exaggeration. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I, I want us to, to recognize the presence of the former host pastor. That is a, the Reverend Ignatus, who has been the pastor of, the, of this, our sister. Shall we put our hands together for Reverend Ignatius? Shall we clap for him? Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please, if you are a pastor here, and maybe you don't have where you sit down, please, that place is made for all the men of God. You can join us there. And as you do, God will bless you in Jesus' name. All right. We want to briefly hear the word of God. Because this gathering here today is the gathering of a child of God who has been serving God. And because she was a child of God, she was serving God. And that is why we cannot put her in the ground without hearing the word of God, and it is very, very important. So I will advise, wherever you are, just obey God, and just honor God, as you honor this, our mother. Shall we stand up on our feet, and let us pray? Does nobody know the next talk? Nobody know who will be the next person? You know, sometimes when we come to a play like this, some will begin to carry their hand, some will begin to poof up. You don't know when your own will be coming. Our Father and our God, we thank you because it is only the living that can bury the dead. And we are privileged to be a living who are gathered here to bury the dead. Not because of our goodness, not because of our kindness, not because we too love you, but because you love us more than as we love you. And that is why we are gathered here. Father, this hour, oh God, we want you to come and speak to us. That the very purpose that we are here, Father, you will make it known to us in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every foul spirit, every enemy of your war, I rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your presence, oh God, fill this place as we hear from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I want to read from Isaiah chapter 38, verse 1 to 5. In those days was Ezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Ezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiah wept so. Verse 4. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and tell, go and say to Ezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard a prayer. I have heard a prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee. 
and this city out of the hand of the king of Syria, and it will defend this city. May the Lord bless the reading of his word into our heart in Jesus' name. I call, put your house in order. Put your house in order. There are people that live life. They live on earth yet. They forget that one day, death will call them. They forget that they will have an appointment with death that they cannot escape. For your children and for your family. We are told that the man that was serving God, the man that, that always pleased God, God was about to take his life. According to the play that we read, the man became very sick. And God didn't want to hide anything from him. He sent a prophet to come and remind him that this sickness, he will not survive. He will die. And that was what happened. And we also told that this man began to cry unto God and also remember God, every good thing that he had done for God. He remembered God, many things he had done for God. Praise the Lord. I want us to know, according to the word of God, that it is appointed unto anybody to die once. And after that, judgment. So when we are living here on earth, we should put our hands in order. So that when you die, your children can be able to come together and plan your life. <laughs> it's as a result that this our sister has put his heart in order. If he has not been putting her house in order, the children wouldn't have been able to call us yet to come and win the bury the burial of her mother. They call her to come and win the burial of, of their mother. Why? Because the way they are mother leave, what their mother has done was the way their mother leave with them the way their mother brought them up was very very great that is why they cannot forget their mother but today we have seen some family when the man dies he will make it to that if the son don't even get father he will be jump as our May you not be so close in the name of Jesus. One of the ways that we should put our hearts in order is for us to join near God. It's for us to train our children in the way of God. If you train your children in the way of God, you will not have a problem when you want to die. If they tell that you are dead with God. A family was quarreling, they were fighting. Why? There was no compression. There was no peace. If there was no compression in this family, we would have gathered here today. And if we are not putting our house in order, if we are not drawn nearer to God, the day of our home, it will be very, very critical. I pray may that one will be our portion in the name of Jesus. The only way for you to put your house in order is for you to invite Jesus into your family. It's for you to invite Jesus into your life so that God will not allow you to die untimely. I want to draw the conclusion by saying if you are here and you are not giving your life to Christ, if you are here, you are here. Do not a good church. You are here. You the fly for night. You are here. You the you the group up. You are here. You are you are you are you are you, you are doing property to other people. I want you to repent today because you are all day is coming very soon. Praise the Lord. I want every one of us to stand up on our feet. Let us stand up on our feet. Because when we come to a barrier like this, 
It's an opportunity for somebody to say, I will turn from my evil way and turn to God. As I invite the Reverend, Reverend Evans, to come and pray for you. Wherever you are, remain your eye closed. Father, we thank you because you are God. Forever your word is said to in heaven, you are the creator of heaven and earth. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. As many that have heard your word this afternoon and who act accordingly, I pray that your mercy locate them and that you forgive them and accept them, Lord, into your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray once again for the family, Jehovah. I ask that your goodness and mercy will not depart from this family. Your servant that you have used, the Lord have gone out of him. I pray that you replenish him. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We hand over the rest I take to your hands as we continue. May your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on. Session leader, sir. Session leader, sir. Yes, sir. Let all the pastor come forward. Please, you can move. You can move. You can move around here. You can move around here. Let all the pastor come. Testimony that has, that is given concerning your mother. That your mother has finished his own work on earth, and God has decided to call call her back. For the fact that your 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 mother, sorry to say, your mother has gone to be with the Lord. It will be very, very good when your mother will sit down at the bosom and he, he will see you doing well in the sight of God and will live peacefully. Went to a burial like this. And the family, even right there in the mar in the in the barrier, they were fighting. When they called the family to come like this to come and pray, they were fighting. The other one, the son was holding the mama below the arm. Why there was no agreement. So what I am telling you today is that if you have been having anything in mind against each other, please, because of this barrier, because of the death of your mother. Let everybody forgive each other so that the light of God and the blessing of God will flow in Jesus' name. Close to our eye. That God I never fail. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you there is power. Jesus, that never fail. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you there is power. Father, I pray for this family of your daughter. As they come together to bury their mother, their grandmother, their sister, their auntie. Father, so also their children will also gather together when their own time reach to give them a defeating barrier peacefully in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that the death of their mother will not bring quarrel, will not bring problem, will not bring sickness to any one of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, oh God, I rebuke every untimely death in this family. They will not die premature death. Their mother died at the age of 58 years. Father, they will live above 100 years in this family. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. every spirit of untimely death, every spirit of premature death, 
We bind you and we cast you away from this family in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you as a servant of God. After this barrier, the Lord will open door for you. Amen. Wherever you owe the money because of this barrier, the Lord will settle that debt for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you with your children with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Now we are going to intermit. So the people that is to carry the cops, please, they will be ready because we don't spend all our time where we're supposed to start. So we don't need to waste time. The people that try to carry to, to ready and carry the, the, the coffin to the graveyard. And whatsoever it needed to be settled, please we want everything to be settled.
Okay. In the shore, I see the hope that the spirit which has returned unto God. Precious Father, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor. You are questionable, questioning God. Who does things according to your will? That by your might, you are strong. Oh God, may you have your way. As your daughter is coming back to you, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, let your rest upon the family. Your blood be covered. Thank you, Father, for Father, in Jesus. Amen. Father, sanctify this name with the blood of Jesus. Any evil man, any evil woman that want to take the spirit of this woman to attack our children. Father, we silence them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that today may you accept our soul. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Shall we share the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely. So we can cover the way. We are covered.
before her demise, she had five children, and many grandchildren, and uh, many, many, many great grandchildren. The children among whom are Mrs. Blessing Cosmos, Onoja Sike, uh, Mr. James Ekugum, Mr. Ifai Ekugum, Miss Stella Ekugum, Master Onyebuchi Ekugum. So thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I have different interest groups that are here, family members that are here to greet this occasion today. So please, I uh, will keep recognizing one after the other. In case you know here your name, no verse, just send signal to us. We will do the need. God bless you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, Equology from uh, Okpanam, Equology's cultural dance group from Okpanam. Please put your hands together for them. For our leader, Ukweshi Ubieni SB. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. We also have uh, Comrade Namdi Oguda. Please put your hands together for Comrade Namdi Oguda. So you're welcome. We also have uh, Comrade Anticot Volunteer Corps of Panam. Please put your hands together for them. You know, easy. And then they release that bullet that time. God bless you. So we have uh, Esteem Addis, Deputy Commander, Anti Court Volunteer Group uh, of Panam. Please put the hands together for him. Please, yeah? We also have Dr. Ngozi Mwaboku. Uh, please put the hands together for him. God bless you, Dr. Ngozi. Okay. Dr. Ngozi Mwaboku, I celebrate you. Thank you. Have Pa J O Ubuani. We want to specially greet the people of Umulwa. Enkeleke manondi Umulwa. Kakabonde is in Umulwa Kweni. Umulwa Kweni. Ano bengeke. Now, Pastor, Pastor Andrew. Children of God, praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. Ah, we fire ground ministry, they don't come out. Then they here, please, if they are still around, please wave your hands for recognition. Fire ground ministry, all the way from our Delta State. Okay, they don't move. I want to say welcome to this arena once again. At this point in time, before I call. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they don't whisper to my ears. Say they don't pray. Say, Pastor, don't pray. Abi, uh, Pastor, don't pray. Abi. So, in as much as Pastor don't pray, then we will we'll feast that now. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to call on the musician uh, who to give us uh, a sweet melody. Why the families of the bereaved, please, all the bereaved children and the bereaved family. Get ready to open the floor. It's time for opening stroke. Welcome, dance. Thank you. Uh, please give us a sweet melody. Uh, 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 Onu koko me wano onu nukure gu ona ba imabo le sindi bibi le furo no kike chan. Thank you.
I greet all of you. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and he uh, said from the beginning, the first person can hear Abido. But meanwhile, let me introduce myself to you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as the master ceremony of today's occasion. My name is MC Jovia de Bullion Van. By the special grace of God, I am the CEO MC Jovia TV. I am the only Jovia that traveled to Slovakia with Kiamoto to buy Nokia phone with our factory. But I'm going to clap for me. 
If you are not clap for people, more than clap for me now. At the same time, I'm the husband to all their showers. I'm boyfriend to all the divorces. Every woman will not get husband again, but the ones where their husband died and the ones where their husband divorced. I mean, they married them. On a clap for me. On a clap for me, now it's easy. Even all these old women, when they say their husband, don't you know? I mean, they help them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Happy <laughs> people, if I want to mind the court, I mean, they do now. And I'm proud. <laughs> and they talk about If you get any work where you they do, you know they're bold or confident enough to talk them in public, I beg, change your work. Me, I'm very proud to tell you that's what I do for a living. So thank you very much, please, because of time, we want to call on uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Cosmos, Ono Jasike, and all the families of Ono Jasike to engage the floor with their invitees. If you know say that because of them, make you come here, as soon as music play, you join them on the dancing floor. Mr. and Mrs. Cosmos, Ono Jasike, it's your turn to engage the floor. God bless you, uh, Oyibo Juno. Over to you.
Mr. James Egugu, please. Anybody representing Mr. James Egugu, please be on the floor. Get ready to engage the floor with all your invitees, Mr. and Mrs. James Egugu. Over to you.
conference and what wishes of Mr. and Mrs. James Ekuku. Uh, Mr. Ifai Ekuku. Mr. Ifai Ekuku. Anyone representing Mr. Ifai Ekuku, get ready to engage the floor with your invitees. We will give over to you.
thank you, all friends and well wishers of uh, Miss Stella Ekubo. I have a Master Onyabuchi Ekubo. Master Onyabuchi. Onyabuchi, are you ready? Onyabuchi, are you ready? Oh, Allah. Oh, yeah. What to you?
There'll be no more pain. There'll be no more shame. There'll be no more loss in Jesus' name. There'll